Concrete Winds is the third full-length album from Concrete Winds, a Finnish death metal band who have been described as all kind of things uh, in terms of subgenre. We could call them a death grind band, a death metal band, a grindcore duo, a bestial death metal band. I lean towards kind of the all-inclusive bestial death grind sound. That means that there are those slapping, generative, volatile sections of this album that really punish in terms of their drumming and pacing. And then there are more grinding, free-moving, nauseated death metal sounds on here that kind of run the gamut between um, obsessive fixation and uh, just a, a traditional death metal craft, otherwise at a very fast pace. I think that the thing to say about this record and their sound in general is that it is both mechanical in some of its movements, but, all an but also animalistic in the way that it presents its uh, general violence of sound and attack. I think there's a type of aggression here that is meant to be exciting. It's meant to be uh, formidable and uh, really an opponent for the ear in terms of uh, how they, they kind of pressed the attack a little bit more in terms of how harsh they could get on their second record, Nerve Butcher. And the first one was a little bit more classic. It was a little bit more attuned to uh, 80s death metal and the way that that played out. So there's something very modern in the way that they approach this and not so much a modern as in, uh, in whatever that would mean to most people modern in the sense that you probably haven't heard something exactly like this outside of a very specific group of and type of band i think that omega vortex gets it especially right in terms of riffs in this band they add in a little bit more of their own uh industrial uh, quasi-industrial sounds and abstract movements to keep it interesting throughout its very short duration so Let's cut to a clip here and get a sense for how this record sounds and see how many riffs they can fit into, you know, 15 seconds or so. So the two notes to take here, from my point of view, are that uh, there's an Angel Corpse level of attack to a lot more of these songs that is uh, pretty cool. The industrial influences are out, up front and, and, and pretty awesome in the way they play out with this very high speed intensity. And otherwise, I think that if you're a fan of Portal and you like when music uh, modulates its pace at an unreasonable level, they're the uh, guitars from Obscure Burial who uh, has been a live member of Concrete Winds for some years now, contributes to this album a bunch of lead guitar solos for about three of the songs, and that amplifies their effect. They're, it's kind of like a, a battle of solos and or these uh, wah pedal screaming uh, noises that uh, attack from both ends. And so it's, it's a cool effect, and it's an exciting thing to listen to as they kind of blur uh, the intensity of their sound even more. I think that... At the core grout of this thing, there's maybe less Altars of Madness that you might have felt on Primitive Force and a little bit more Blessed Are the Sick kind of chunkier movements on this one. So I know that's going to sound abstract at first, but the more you listen to this record and the more you listen to early Morbid Angel, you'll understand uh, what that transition actually means in terms of the way the riffs develop and how they translate into something grinding and uh, insane. So... I love this record. I think it's awesome. I think everything they've done is awesome. This band is, is incredible, and it's something that just sounds like nothing else right now, and uh, it, it, it isn't something that feels so derivative of the past. So it's an exciting thing to listen to. It's a real headache, and I think it's a, it's a great one. So very high recommendation for me. Check it out when it releases on August 30th, and read my review for more of my thoughts. Sorry, 